Today in our 2015 Buick Enclave, we're doing a test fit of the Curt 20 by 48 cargo carrier. That part number is C18110. Now this has a 300 pound weight capacity and works with both inch and quarter and two inch hitches. So it is going to be one of those lighter weight cargo carriers. It's gonna be really easy to get in and take out of your hitch. You won't really need any assistance for that. We'll start off with a few measurements. First one's gonna be our ground clearance. It's gonna be about 19 and a half inches to that bottom bolt there. And that is because we have a raised shank in the back, which is going to lift our carrier even higher than our hitch. Overall to our vehicle, we're adding about 26 inches. And our closest point's gonna be about six inches away there. Now we do have dual exhaust on our Enclave. It does sit a little lower than our carrier, although it comes straight out on both sides at about 13 inches away. So I would be cautious about heat sensitive material. Try and keep those inside your cargo area if possible. As for the hatch on here, we've got an automatic hatch. So you do want to be aware of a breakover point. That's going to be the point at which anything that's stacked on our carrier might make contact. So with that open, we'll close it up part of the way, take that measurement. That's going to be about 15 and a half inches. So again, just keep that in mind. As for our hitch, I did mention this works with both two inch and inch and a quarter. So you can use this for multiple vehicles. It also comes with an anti-rattleable and clip down there. It's gonna keep a lot of the shake and play out of the carrier as you head down the road. So that's gonna be our completed look at the Curt 20 by 48 cargo carrier, part number C18110 on our 2015 Buick Enclave. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 